Yesterday, the President uh, did convene a meeting with members of his Cabinet uh, and other members of his senior staff who are responsible for the response to uh, this particular um, uh, Ebola diagnosis uh, and to the broader Ebola outbreak that has occurred in West Africa. Uh, today, the President will meet with some members of that, of that team here at the White House uh, to continue these discussions and to follow up on some of the actions that the President directed uh, out of that meeting. Uh, to be clear, what the President directed out of that meeting uh, is a commitment uh, on the part of the Federal Government to ensure that we're doing everything necessary to detect, isolate, and treat Ebola patients when they materialize uh, uh, at health care facilities in this country, uh, and that we do that in a way that protects health care workers uh, and the broader American public. Uh, that is a core priority. At the same time, the President wants to ensure that those efforts do not distract from the very important work that's being done in West Africa. We have been our, – our experts tell us that the only way to completely eliminate risk from the Ebola virus to the American public is to stop this outbreak at its source. And that's why uh, CDC officials have been uh, on the ground in West Africa for seven months now uh, dealing with this specific Ebola outbreak. And it's why last month the President announced a significant commitment of resources from the Department of Defense to lend their logistical expertise to improve the flow of personnel and supplies that are being used to mitigate the outbreak in the region.